Hey, it's Scott Orn of Cruise Consulting, and today we're answering the question, when is IRS Form 5471 due? And for those that don't know, 5471 is uh, an informational return that needs to be included in your company's tax return. Um, I'm speaking about Delaware C-Corps right now. That's, that's our main focus at Cruise Consulting. So your Delaware c Corp return that goes into the IRS um, will have basically like an extra extra form on it, 5471, which covers your foreign corporation, which basically means if you have a foreign subsidiary, like maybe you have a development team in Argentina or a sales team in London, England, or some other entity somewhere across the world, you need to tell the IRS that you have the entity and you're basically gonna supply the IRS with your financial statements from that entity. It, it, it helps the IRS track where all this cash is going across the world, helps them kind of root out bad actors, you know, people who might set up a corporation or a subsidiary for some not so great purposes. Um, and so it's a really, it's, it's kind of your civic duty uh, as, as someone who is incorporated and running a company to do if you have a foreign corporation. The fine for not filing it is really large. It's $20,000 per year, um, per form. So definitely, definitely file that 5471. Unfortunately, see sometimes, you know, companies are incorporated uh, by foreign founders who don't actually know about this. So please, please do that. There's a, a, a similar form called a 5472, which I'll cover in another video that uh, applies to foreign owners uh, that needs to be disclosed to. But the 5471 goes alongside or in your tax return. So the, the kind of Headline due date is April 15th, give or take a day every year, the typical uh, tax return due date. Now, a lot of people know this, but you can actually file a tax extension form with the IRS. And especially when your company is losing money, um, you file that form and the, the tax return and the 5471 become due on October 15th or within a day or so of that, depending on if it's a weekend or not um, every year. Now. It's, I make that distinction about a money losing company uh, because you don't owe estimated taxes if you're losing money as a, as a company. If you're profitable, you file an extension. You do have to make your estimated tax payments. At Cruise, we work with tons of startups. We do have some profitable startups. So we have clients that do those estimated tax payments, but the vast majority are startups who are losing money still, building their product, haven't achieved cash flow positive or profits. And so, that it's very easy for them to extend and we extend everyone really. So the due date is April 15th for the 5471. Um, but if you file that extension, it will be October 15th. So, and again, in a given year, you may have like a weekend where it lands on October 15th. And so usually the IRS will kick it to the next Monday. So you might look at like, it might be like October 17th in a given year. So I hope that helps. Hit us up if you have any questions. 5471s are very, very important. Make sure your, your startup tax preparer actually knows how to fill them out and knows how to do them right. And uh, be diligent. You don't want to get one of those $20,000 fines. Hope that helps. Hit us up at cruiseconsulting.com if you have any other questions. Thanks.